Maine's Revenge is an organization of sorts. Um, and it's one I don't think you're going to like all that much. I don't think your donations are going to be going there anytime soon. Jane's Revenge has been making a lot of news lately because they are an organization that seems to be doing some sort of terrorism, vandalism, property damage, and more to pro-life organizations around the country as they try to express themselves in their opposition to the possible overturning of Roe versus Wade. Um, the Intercept has looked into these, uh, this group a little bit. And we're going to go through their actual statements here uh, tonight. I want you to know who this organization is, because in reality, you're going to be hearing a lot about them. They're building fast, and they're looking to do a lot of damage uh, to your community. So you should know who they are. Um, the Intercept, you know, I don't know. You'd think of a group that's firebombing uh, pro-life centers. You'd think you'd have a, a pretty good understanding of how people might react to that. But sometimes things surprise you. The Intercept writes, when I read that a group calling itself Jane's Revenge had firebombed anti-abortion crisis pregnancy centers in Madison, Wisconsin, Des Moines, Iowa, and other locations from Washington State to Washington, D.C., my th first thought was, what the F? Now, you might say, okay, that's, that's what I would expect. Someone's pissed off. What the heck is going on out there? Why are you doing all this firebombing? Next paragraph. I mean, was this a false flag? Who but the extreme right, which had looked the other way while its terrorist armies murdered abortion providers, would besmirch the name of Jane, the Chicago collective that provided over 11,000 safe illegal abortions before Roe versus Wade. Yeah, how would one besmirch an organization that prevented 11,000 children from living? I can't think of one way to do it. Uh, I guess you just have to, uh, I mean, I'm on the right, and I couldn't ever think of a way to besmirch such a wonderful organization doing such incredibly positive things for our population numbers. Um, this is a bizarre thing, and I think one of the first accusations was this. Is it a false organization. Did someone on the right say, you know what we should do? We should fire bomb crisis pregnancy centers uh, because that will make everyone think bad things about anti-choice uh, 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 anti or anti-pro-life, I guess, pro-abortion activists. I don't know. Um, so I don't know why anyone would do that. I don't know why anyone would think that would, that would work. Uh, but apparently the left, that was their first thing they jumped to. But apparently... Not the case. Robert Evans, who covers extremism, reviewed the language of a communique from the group and, this is important, and the source through which it came to him. <laughs> In other words, he knows exactly who this is and expressed confidence that Jane's revenge is what it says it is, not some right wing imposter. Now, of course, you might say, well, all right, it's not an imposter, but at least they're going to say these things are wrong, right? You might be asking a little too much. Evans called the acts ethical terrorism. Oh, the destruction of infrastructure rather than the unethical terrorism that targets civilians. Agreed with a guest that the Wisconsin attacker's bomb was a pretty good Molotov and pronounced the action competent and its messaging clear. I mean, if you can't find a way to praise somebody firebombing a pregnancy center... I don't know. You're just not creative enough. And apparently the left is there. Jane's Revenge, luckily for us, has its own blog. Yes, Jane's Revenge has its own blog. Now, they're not telling you who they are. They're not giving you their names. It's similar to an Antifa type of approach in that way. It's sort of a decentralized organization, not really being clear about who its members or leadership uh, is. This is in contrast to something like BLM, who told you right up front that they were trying to get rid of the nuclear family, and we promise we are uh, a bunch of uh, people who have studied Marxism, and here are our names and pictures. Uh, that's kind of how they went at it. This is a different approach, and it's one that might be a little scary for you if you happen to either run a crisis pregnancy center, live near one, or honestly happen to be alive in an area that they deem is too pro-life because they're coming for you. At least that's what they say. They say this. This is their first communique uh, when they kind of broke the news that we are a thing here at Jane's Revenge. They say this is not a declaration of war. War has been upon us for decades, a war which we did not want and did not provoke. Too long have we been attacked for asking for basic medical care. Too long have we been shot, bombed, and forced into childbirth without consent. 
That's a, a lot wrapped up in that one. And if I, get, if I get locked into every sentence here, I will never finish this monologue. But I think you might be able to poke a couple of holes in that take on the like, fight for abortion over the past few decades. This is only a warning. We demand the disbanding of all anti-choice establishments, fake clinics, and violent anti-choice groups within the next 30 days. This is not a mere difference of opinion, as some have framed it. We are literally fighting for our lives. We will not sit while we are killed and forced into servitude. Again, I don't know if they know what the meaning of many of these words are, but I think one thing that is important is uh, that this came out more than 30 days ago. So we've already missed the deadline to shut down the entire anti-choice movement. I, I mean, I would have done it too, but we missed the deadline. So now might as well just keep going and fighting for babies' lives. This bizarre uh, description of what someone who wants abortion, uh, you know, how they describe themselves as being bombed and shot at. Now, look, we know there have been there, are, there have been a couple of these incidents over the years when it comes to abortion providers, uh, and those are obviously hideously wrong in every way, and we talked about them at the time when they've happened, and they've been few, very few and far between, we should note. Uh, that being said, the idea that uh, every woman is being forced into servitude by giving birth is really uh, not a fair description as to what the birthing process is. Um, they go on, we have run thin on patient and mercy for those who seek to strip us of what little autonomy we have left. As you continue to bomb clinics and assassinate doctors with impunity, again, you're gonna have to give more examples of this, uh, so too shall we adopt increasingly extreme tactics to maintain freedom over our own bodies. You're seeing this start to escalate here. We are forced to adopt the minimum military requirement for a political struggle. Again, this was only a warning. Next time, the infrastructure of the enslavers will not survive. Medical imperialism, what? what are they, they're putting these words together as if they know what they mean, will not, pass a, uh, not face a passive enemy. Wisconsin is the first flashpoint, but we are all over the U.S. and we will issue no further warnings. And we will not stop and we will not back down, nor will we hesitate to strike until the inalienable right to manage our own health is returned to us. Ugh. We are not one group, but many. We are in your city. We are in every city. Your repression only strengthens our accompliceship and resolve. It's like gate, you know, anything can have gate after it, water gate, uh, gate gate, deflate gate. Oh, they can always have a gate after it. Now they can always have ship after it. A, a, a ally ship, apprentice ship, all of these ships now get used to it. Uh, it's like you're in the Navy. Um, so Jane's Revenge wants you to know that they are going to come out and they're going to do a lot of bad things in your community, but they're only doing it because you've declared war on them. See, this is a defensive war in their mind. And this is a, an organization that's already done thousands and thousands of dollars of damage and promises to do much more. I want to get into that here in a second. But you should know, if you're thinking of joining this organization, there are some requirements. Now, we have lately been told you can identify as any gender that you want. That's totally fine. Gender doesn't mean anything. But of course, we've also been told that it means everything. And it seems like Jane's Revenge is on the it means everything bandwagon at least if you are a cis male, okay? So if you're a cis male, you are allowed to hang out with the Jane's Revenge party, but there are some rules and I want you to follow them. To the cis male allies who would be interested in joining us in the streets, we say, you are certainly welcome, but you must use your privilege to shield and support us in a way that also enables us to get angry. Do not police us. Do not tell us what is and is not appropriate but do, us, do aid us when we are in need. All right, so we can't say anything, but if we show up, we can, I don't know, block all the evil right-wing bullets that might be coming their way. Thank you so much for that opportunity, by the way. Um, they gave us this 30-day deadline. Then they kind of outlined what's going to go on in these nights of rage that they're telling us are around the corner. And we'll get into the details on those here in a second. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, it was already more than 30 days ago. So we missed our deadline. We could have shut this all down. Everything would have been fine. They would have totally been okay with everything else we were doing in our lives. They just needed to shut down those crisis pregnancy centers and it would have been fine. But we missed the deadline. That's our fault, okay? That one's on us. Our bad. We just aren't on the internet enough. We didn't see the first one. So the third communique that has come out from Jane's Revenge uh, starts with 
a warning here that there th our 30 days had expired yesterday when this was written. We offered an honorable way out. You could have walked away. Now the leash is off and we will make it as hard as possible for your campaign of oppression to continue. That campaign of oppression, by the way, is having children live. In case you're wondering what that campaign was. We have demonstrated in the past month how easy and fun it is to attack. We are versatile. We are mercurial. And we answer to no one but ourselves. We promise to take increasingly drastic measures against oppressive infrastructures. Rest assured that we will, and those measures may not come in the form of something so easily cleaned up as fire and graffiti. From here forward, any anti-choice group who closes their doors and stops operating will no longer be a target. Oh, well, thank you so much for that. But until you do, it's open season and we know where your operations are. The infrastructure of the enslavers will not survive. We will never stop, back down, slow down, or retreat. We did not want this, but it is upon us. So we must deal with it proportionally. From, and for the allies of ours who doubt the authenticity of the communiques and actions, there is a way you can get irrefutable proof that these actions are real. Go do one of your own. You, already, you are already one of us. Everyone with the urge to paint, to burn, to cut, to jam. Now is the time. Go forth and manifest the things you wish to see. Stay safe and practice your cursive. Why would you practice cursive? Kind of an interesting thing to say. And that's been one of the things that the left has pointed out. These must be fake attacks because, uh, I mean, obviously our education system, you know, people who are young these days can't even write, let alone write in cursive. But they actually have said that, hey, uh, young people don't write in cursive and this is BS. It's got to be BS. Well, this is kind of their calling card. You see the uh, graffiti. Uh, this one is just a kind of fancy writing. Um, but if you see here, Jane was here uh, on the side of this, uh, looks like a trailer, um, and uh, that's in cursive. And then you see this is the kind of most famous one. If abortions aren't safe, then you aren't either. By the way, Hollywood will definitely be making a movie celebrating these people. Uh, let's start guessing the cast now because this one will be made very, very soon. And of course, what they have done is not just put graffiti on, uh, in, in fancy cursive writing on uh, the walls of buildings. They've gone much further. Uh, for Florida Pro-Life Pregnancy Center hit with Jane's Revenge Abortion Vandalism. D.C. Pregnancy Center vandalized. Jane says revenge. Pro-abortion terrorist firebomb Buffalo Pro-Life Pregnancy Center. Jane's Revenge Group claims responsibility for Des Moines Pregnancy Center vandalism. And what's interesting here is you go to the, the typical folks you might uh, look at when uh, when looking at an extreme uh, organization in a city. We know, like, for example, Antifa is one that's had a lot of focus and people knew who these activists were in these communities. They spring into action when these things pop up and they have uh, anti you know, government action or whatever they believe is the right thing to do at that particular moment. And so a lot of people uh, talked about this one group, DSM Street Medics, who are a collective of folks dedicated to health care, healing, and keeping people safe in Des Moines, Iowa, because they just seem to be around all the time when these types of things break out. And like, hey, do you guys have anything to do with this? And they want you to know, no, they did no, 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 no. They did not have anything to do with this. Now, did they happen to get another communique from the group? Sure. But that's just luck. Maybe they just found it on the streets. They say here, the DSM street medics received the following from a trusted source. Their trusted source is apparently involved in fire bombings. Uh, we are in no way affiliated with these actions, but we applaud them. We have been asked to use our platform to uplift the following message. Let me give it to you. The night of June 2nd, 2022, we vandalized Agape, a, prom a prominent crisis prom pregnancy center in a low-income area of Des Moines, Iowa. What a sounds like a terrible place, helping people with their pregnancies in a low-income area. What a bunch of monsters. Agape, like Interversions, Birthright, and many other crisis pregnancy centers in Iowa, is a religious fake clinic that inflects emotional, financial, and physical violence on people who need health care and support. If they are, physical violence would be a problem. It just doesn't seem to actually be happening. They lie, they shame, and manipulate people in to not getting abortions. Can you believe these people wanting children to live? Crisis pregnancy centers work to uphold patriarchy, Christ Christian supremacy, white supremacy, and cis, hetero, 
normativity. That's one freaking very long word. We broke windows. We broke messages of God loves abortion. This is going to work out well for you in eternity, boys and girls. Fake clinic. This place is not safe and stop lying. It was fun and easy. And now is the time for action. Crisis pregnancy centers, as well as the churches, banks and businesses that support them, are all responsible for the violence of forced birth. Hmm. We are ask, not asking uh, for the right to choose. Abortions are not safe, and neither are you. In solidarity, love, and rage, Jane's revenge. You know, it's not just the cities that I mentioned here. As they point out in their own communica uh, communications, we have a long list of where they've hit already. You have seen that we are real and we are not merely pushing empty words. As we have said, we are not one group but many. You have seen us in Madison, Wisconsin, Fort Collins, Colorado, Risertown, Massachusetts, Olympia, Washington, Des Moines, Iowa, Linwood, Washington, Washington, D.C., Asheville, North Carolina, Buffalo, New York, Hollywood, Florida, Vancouver, Washington, Frederick, uh, Massachusetts, Denton, Texas, Gresham, Oregon, Eugene, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, among others. And we will work in countless locations invisibly. This organization which is less of an organization, but the attempt to start a movement which has a lot of open ears. A lot of people are interested in the things that they're saying. How can we justify violence against the people we hate? How can we justify violence against those who want the terrible, terrible outcome of children being born? How can we do it? Well, they're working very hard to convince people to come along on this journey with them. This is how they leave it. On the night, the final ruling is issued, a specific date we cannot yet predict, but we know is arriving imminently. We are asking for courageous hearts to come out after dark. Whoever you are and wherever you are, we are asking for you to do what you can to make your anger known. To those who work to oppress us, if abortion isn't safe, you aren't either. We are everywhere. Signed, Jane's Revenge.